make as much noise as we can. Does everybody agree? Let's go to Downing Street. Stop the coup! Stop the coup! Stop the coup! So we're protesting here because um, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has shut down Parliament. Um, what that essentially means is that um, the limited form of democracy we have in this country, kind of parliamentary democracy, has been shut down so that people won't that that, that institution won't have a say in what's going to happen in the Brexit process. Which means it's much more likely that uh, a No Deal Brexit is going to happen on the 31st of October. Um, something I think is going to be incredibly bad for workers in Britain and for our comrades and brothers and sisters in other countries in the European Union. Workers in other countries are going to be badly affected as well. I've come from Liverpool today to tell Boris Johnson what we think of him. This is not democracy, this is not fair, people did not vote for New Deal and we do not want it. I just think it's completely against democracy, like regardless of your views on Brexit, regardless of your politics, like how can you call this democracy? It's not, it's wrong and it's a dictatorship and we shouldn't stand for it. I think it's a very undemocratic thing to do. It, in fact, I'm deeply shocked and that's why we're here. I think it's the start of somebody showing dictatorial uh, inclinations. Certainly I think that Parliament should be sitting when, it, when it's scheduled not to um, and there should be, in my view, um, consultation with the public to see how they want to go forward because we didn't vote for a no-deal Brexit. That wasn't even on the cards or in anyone's mind, I doubt, um, when we voted um, two years ago now for a Brexit that has failed to materialise. <laughs> I think it's um, so sort of unprecedented. It makes it the longest proroguing since 1945. Uh, it goes on for nine days longer than last year, which is a very strange thing to do at a time of constitutional crisis. It seems like a play to try and allow uh, the MPs to not as much time to debate the ideas, the merits and the negatives of a no-deal Brexit. And it's something that a lot of the people within the government have said is, was a bad idea until they're now in the government and now seem to be incredibly quiet. So this is the people making a noise because the politicians don't seem to be saying anything who have any actual real power. Yeah.